How's it going everybody? My name is Sai and today we're going to be going into my comment section and taking a request that I got quite a long time ago. This guy's name is Nicholas Germano and he requested um, Agalox Falling Snow. Now, I'm not familiar with Agalox at all, never even heard of him. If I were to take any guesses, I would say black metal. Um, it looks very black metal-y. The, uh, the cover is very grim dark. Um, you know, falling snow, winter is often a thing that is associated with black metal. Um, so that's just kind of my biased guesses on the album art. Um, I'm going to have a little update for the channel after we're completely done here, so stick around for the end if you want to kind of figure out what's going on with the albums and whatnot. But uh, outside of that, we're just going to hop right into here and see what we're working with. It's a nine minute video, so let's get that started as soon as possible. Oh, I should say, there's no video, video part, it's just album covers, so I'm just gonna leave my face here. This is weird, what the hell? This is like... It's kind of like a mid-2000s, dare I say it, like post-hardcore emo guitar lead here. That's very what that is. Hmm. Oh, very what that is. Interesting. Okay. I'm surprised. It's a pop though. So I was right. It's a very chilled out, laid back black metal rasp there. Like it feels like he's barely putting any effort into it. Like it sounds good, but it sounds like he's not really being forceful at all. Interesting combination. I, I like it, actually, though. I like it a lot. I love this guitar bit here. Very nostalgic. Kind of uplifting almost, despite the fact that it's very much a black metal tune as far as lyricism and theming goes. There you go, some planes. Again. Very creepy, doom infected cleans here. Take back that rasp, man. It's like a death rattle almost. It's weird.
I mean, like, about halfway ish through it. A little over halfway. The pacing is pretty much the same all the way through. A little double kick here, but mostly the same drum beat. Very there, 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 there. The whole way through. Just some variation on the kicks and the thumbs. And the hats, of course, yeah. Huh. mixed and everything. How reverby it is and just it's like being blown through mountains pretty much. It's like a chill in the wind. Because you get this really wintry feel from it, but then you got the instruments that are more streetwise almost. Very extended instrument section. I think this is a little long, honestly. Again, could have just put that in closer to the meat of the song, this part here. That was uh, that was Agalox falling snow. Yeah, that. Well, I mean, 
points for creativity, man. Like, that is unlike anything I've heard uh, ever. Um, the only thing I can think of even coming close would be, like, Death Heaven. But even then, it's a different combination of genres. Um, it's the same kind of selling point where it's like black metal, but with a twist. But um, it's different. It's just a different vibe overall. Um, really interesting stuff. Um, I actually quite liked it. Uh, there is a couple things that I'm not too fond of. I think the length is a bit much. Um, it was kind of got like progressive song length, but it didn't really progress much during the actual song. Um, there's like little tweaks here and there to the instrumentation, but overall it had the same vibe and mood throughout the whole thing. And that's about, you know, that's, that's kind of like the major quibble I have. Um, overall the instrumentation is really cool. I really liked hearing those like nostalgic, uh, chords and harmonics being played throughout the whole thing. I like the drum work where, you know, he's keeping the same kind of snare rhythm, but he's changing up the way he handles all the other drums so that he's keeping the same rhythm going, but he's mixing it up and keeping it interesting throughout the flow. Um, there's even some bass in there that I could hear. Uh, there was quite a bit of creative bass work going on. Um, I love it when I can hear the bass because it's doing something different than the rest of the instruments. Um, so always get props for that. Uh, vocals, interesting, very interesting. I'm, 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 I'm the jury's still out on the screaming. I kind of like the screaming and I kind of don't. Um, it's a very laid back sound. All right, so, so you know, with screams in like metalcore, you get these guys like really belting it out and angry and shouting. This is kind of like something dying almost. This is like very. Uh, very very corpse like you know what i mean is it's 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 not quite as harsh and demonic and like a banshee like most black metal so it comes off really interesting um it got, i think it kind of helps add to the um atmospherics honestly but it is worth noting that is definitely not for everybody that is absolutely not for everybody but i i i'm, I'm like hit or miss on it like I, I can see how a full album of that might be a little bit much, but in this song, I was enjoying it. Um, the clean vocals were really cool, too. I liked how reverby they were, how pushed back in the mix and wet they were. Um, if you don't understand production, I probably just said some really nasty shit for you. I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, I really enjoyed that. Um, it gave a sort of atmospheric dreamy feel like this vocals weren't center stage at all they were kind of part of the environment that these instruments were creating this wintry chill you know very cool um yeah like i said i don't think i've ever heard anything like that uh post hardcore black metal mix that's really that was really rad um i'm glad you showed me that thank you Nicholas Germano, thank again for, you know, subscribing, supporting the channel. Um, hopefully you're still watching by the time uh, this finally comes out. It's been a long time, I know. But uh, <laughs> I do appreciate your patience if you have. And uh, outside of that, um, there's not much more I have to say on the uh, track. It is a very, it is a solid, decent track. Uh, feeling a B plus on that bad boy. Uh, a point three, B plus. Um, great song, um, yeah, a bit long, but other than that, I was pretty happy with that, and, you know, it's, it's definitely something new for me, and I like finding new stuff, so, you know, credit where credit is due, that is definitely something I never expected to hear, and I'm quite happy I did, because that was, that was really rad, um, I'm repeating myself a little bit, so let me segue, uh, for those of you who are just watching for Agalock, you may go now. I understand. Uh, for those of you who are here for my channel, here's a little update. Um, I am currently working on full album edits primarily, so I, I, I haven't been doing a whole lot of songs. As you noticed, um, I know Architects came out with a new song. Not going to do it. Going to wait for the album. Um, they have mostly like bands that I've done reactions to that are coming out with multiple songs leading up to an album. I'm kind of leaving that alone because I'm going to do an album later. But right now, I am on eight album reactions right now and i'm working on like mods the flames right now then i'm gonna do the f next hungry lights album then the next avatar album um then blue oyster cult and then 
the Gazette, and then the final Hungry Lights album. At which point I'll get The Birthday Massacre and That Handsome Devil out of the way. Um, those are two albums that I looked at on stream and I would like to share with you guys. I did a couple more albums on stream, but I wasn't super fond of them. And right now, with as much as I have going on, I don't really want to be low energy editing on top of a low energy video. I just think it'd be kind of a waste of time. So, yeah, um, I got a couple albums that I did out and it's 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 not a big deal. I, I promise you, you guys are not missing out on much. So... I'm not even going to bother saying what albums they were. Uh, other than that, as far as that goes, once I get those eight albums out of the way, I'll start filming new stuff. You'll probably notice because the camera quality is going to be different because I was using a 10-year-old camcorder and now I'm using a, uh, a new webcam for now. Uh, I don't have enough money for a DSLR, so this, you work with what you get. Um, but... Outside of that, once I get that done, first thing on the list is Movements Feel Something. And then after that, we will do things like the new Bill Murray, Bill, uh, or new, Jesus Christ, new Bill Murray, new Fever 333, um, probably a couple more albums will have come out by then. I'm going to start knocking things off. New soil work, stuff like that. Yeah, I didn't expect me to say soil work in there, did you? Either way, uh... Thank you so much for sticking around for that diatribe, uh, and I will be seeing you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. We're at 200 subscribers right now. That is way more than I ever expected to get. So for those of you who actually click the bell, stick around, watch every video, eternally grateful, even if you didn't. Eternally grateful for you too, dude. I mean, I appreciate the support in any way. So... Thank you all so much for riding with me here. Hopefully, I'm going to have some interesting stuff coming out in the 2021. 2020 was a little fucked. Let's try to fix uh, fix it all in 2021, huh? Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.